After graduation, I'll be going to community college for two years, hopefully no more than that, at Lost Poe, and then I want to transfer somewhere down near SoCal. Going to Las Positas, just because I don't really know what I want to study yet, so I'll go figure it out there, and then after two years, maybe transfer to a, a bigger school. I want to major in psychology, go to law school, and pursue that career that I desire. Well, for senior year, hopefully I'll be class president, I'm mostly looking forward to hanging out with my friends before I go off to college. I'm looking forward to making new friends that are younger than me and then leaving them eventually. I'm excited to take a lot of fun classes because I've had really hard classes the last two years. Probably a last water polo season before I head off to college. Because like, I might be playing in college, but the guys here are like a family to me. In 10 years, uh, hopefully with a really successful job, making a lot of money, hopefully. In the long run, become a famous actor. Then That's my hopes and my dreams. Probably on a beach somewhere. I haven't really thought that far in advance. Maybe a traveling surgeon, a traveling nurse. I think that'd be pretty cool. In 10 years, I find myself uh, working as a nurse in the Tri-Valley area. Um, well, ever since I was a little girl, I have wanted to be a mom. And so I, in 10 years, my plan is to be settled down and have a family. Oh my gosh, that's such a hard question. There's a lot I cherish. Definitely my parents. They've always uh, supported me throughout life, and I really thank them for that. Uh, probably my parents, because they've always been there for me, and I can always go to them about stuff. I know if anything happened to me, they'd be like, they wouldn't know what to do. My family is who I cherish most in life, and not just blood, but anybody who has come into my life and helped me. Just the ability to live in the moment and do things for myself that make me happy when all else fails. Like my whole family means a lot to me. All my friends too. I feel like it's all kind of the same. My sister. She's been there my whole life. She's my twin. She knows everything about me. Everyone I've made meaningful relationships and connections with throughout my high school career. Um, I don't think I could really live without my mom or brother. I cherish um, my friends and my family the most because they do love me and they do give me so much support. I mean, I cherish my family a lot. Um, I definitely wouldn't have what I have today without them. Sit up on chairs. When we had like last year, yeah. Yeah. how yeah. did you guys request like teacher wise? Remember oh, Miss Raymond? Remember. Oh yeah. For what? Chaperone the ball. Yeah. Oh, hey, oh check this out. There's a party stuff. tomorrow. Is it by invite only? Yeah, because I can't go to a party without Sicily. <laughs> no, it says you can bring your friends. Okay, I'll text mine then. Gabby, look. Oh my God, there's a party. Oh. Hey, you guys going to this party tomorrow? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, everyone's going. Uh, you're about this party, you're going to it? Oh yeah, are you? Yeah, I'm going. Cool, cool, cool. Hey, are you going to the uh, party tomorrow? Probably not, I have a track meet. Oh, come on, it's so nice out, everyone's gonna be there. I don't think I'll be able to make it. All right, well, see you Monday. Bye. 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 All right, everyone, have a good weekend. Oops. Did you see this? Look fun, right? Yeah, I'm, I think I'm gonna keep my options open this weekend. Are you trying to go? Yeah, let's go. See you, Scott. See you later, man. Victor, you still got to drive? Yeah, of course. I'll have a couple and then we'll stop about an hour before we have to go. Alright, cool. Thanks. Man, I needed this. Mr. Cowboy, it was fun and all, but 
It was so stressful. Yeah, tell me about it. It was so much work. Yeah, honestly. Yeah, now I just get to look forward to like fall and Disneyland and of course graduating. Yeah. I'll drink to that. It's really a beer. Come on. I get the good stuff. <laughs> I don't know, dude. Stuff. If I roll home drunk and my mom sees me. You'll be fine. I'll wear off in like a couple of hours. Come on, have fun. Loosen up. All right. Here you go. Cheers. Cheers. Why not? Nah, I don't know. I'm not an old person either. Oh, this looks pretty good. Yeah. I've never been here before. Me What's up, neither. Guys? How are you? Doing good. pretty good. I'm good. Are you guys going to the party later? I don't think so. No. That's kind of why we came here. Oh. Uh, yeah, I gotta work. Yeah. Bummer, dude. Yeah. What can I get for you guys? Yeah, the high tide looks pretty good. The high tide's awesome. All right, yeah. High tide? I'll get the high tide. All right, everything on that okay for you? Yes, sir. All right, and for you? Um, I'll get the Santa Barbara. Santa Barbara, okay. So what are you guys' plans for this summer? I'm going to Cabo. That's really nice. Um. I think I'm gonna spend some time with my family, you know, before I have to go to college. No, I know. I'm honestly probably just gonna go to Fiji for a little. Fiji, that's nice. What are you doing in Fiji? Just a vacation. I need some time away from school. Makes sense. Oh, you got it in! <laughs> I can still catch that ride with you. Um, it's fine, like we could get an Uber or something, or I'm sure somebody could take us home. Like, it's fine. Oh wait, Victor can just give you a ride. Really? Yeah, right Victor? Sure, this is my last one, I got you. Yeah, because yeah. it's like an actual sport, it's a yeah, game. Yeah, like they care about my times. It's like football when they care about like your 40, um. but they don't care that much. If I'm super raw at water polo and I suck at swimming, they'll be fine with that. Like Are you super raw at water polo? No, you just gotta make the coaches want you. You have to make them jealous, you know? Yeah. No. <laughs> that's not. <laughs> oh. Oh, uh, thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Oh, this looks good. Oof. That's a lot of meat. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Honestly? <laughs> Best party ever. There is that nothing that will top. I know. Really yeah, fun. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Come on. Are you ready? Don't you think we should like call an Uber or something? Why? Getting drunk. I think he's fine. Like he had a drink like hours ago. Like we should be fine. And you need to be home soon. Like that's just a waste of time. Come on. He's okay. You'll be fine. Come on. Let's go. Are you guys coming? Sandwich. You I ready was. to head out? Yeah, I gotta call my mom first. So I told her I called her before I left. All right, you want me to give you some time? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna I'll meet you in the car. car. Sounds good. Hey, mom. Scott and I are leaving Beach Out right now. Be home in like five minutes. Bye. I love you. Hey, thanks for getting lunch with me instead of going to the party. I really appreciated it. Oh yeah, anytime. <laughs> no, yeah, honestly, I really hate these little more parties. Same. That's why I went to IHOP after. Did you really? Yeah, I didn't want to have to babysit people on that, so I ended up going to IHOP. 911, what's the address of your emergency? Please help. There's been a car accident um, somewhere near Livermore High. Okay, is anyone injured? 
so somebody's on the ground. There's there's another person through the windshield. You guys need to get here. Okay, Please get here. All right, help is on the way. Feel my legs. Shit. I need help! Come on! Somebody! Oh, oh shit. Very drain. Oh. on you, okay? We're gonna focus on getting you lost, we'll get you better. I got the bottom without being One, two, three. Push that gurney in there. Hold on. So you got in a car accident? Mm -hmm. Alright. Well, we're gonna be taking you out enough to the hospital. Thanks, babe. You remember running the stop sign? No. All right. Let's walk over here. I want to talk to you a little bit more, okay? Where were you drinking at? Uh, just somebody's party. Okay. Where were you heading to when that happened? I was just taking him home. That's it. I thought it was okay to drive. Do not move your head. Do you understand? Okay. Follow from side to side. All right. Victor, I told you to keep your head still. Okay? I want you to keep your head One. completely still. Only use your eyes. Two. Keep going. Good. Point oh nine. Okay, you are under arrest for felony DUI and also manslaughter. Okay, go ahead and turn around for me. Put your hands behind your back.
All right, Destiny, listen, here's what's going to happen. There's going to be a lot of people asking you questions, okay? So just bear with us the best you can, all right? Things are going to seem a little redundant. Right here, Go ahead, first day. Okay, you have a real deep cut right above your cheekbone, deep into... David, on count of three. One, two, three. Okay, hold on and check your spine. Don't move too much because it ranks to your eye. BP stable. Excellent. Heart rate better, I hope. Heart rate's down at 85. Sponge. Sponge, please. Mm -hmm. Thank you. These good ones? Yeah. Hi, Mr. and Mrs. Ariola? Yes. Hi, Dr. Nazian. How are you doing? I'm good, how are you? I'm good, no, how are you? Good, good. Are you okay? Sorry. Are you okay, sweetheart? Everything's <laughs> going to be okay. Oh, she may not ever regain function of the right side of her face. Oh, God. Make she also has a cut in her forehead, which would be a permanent cut, and it went all the way down the skull. She banged her chest. Her EKG is looking good. Her chest x ray is looking fine. Nothing broken there. She does have an injury to her wrist. Give us the updated her tetanus. We give us some antibiotics. This should be good. Where is everyone? What were we doing? What happened? To a party. Why? Were you drinking? Scotty's room our highest student, 200 pounds, driver of a mid-sized car, T-bone collision. He was the driver of the uh, car that got impacted. Um, he's awake and alert, talking. One, two, three. On the way in, but his meditation right. seems to be going down a little bit. I got 
I'll take this handcuff off, put this hand on your head, okay? Put it up on top of your head. Do the same with this one. You go ahead and have a seat. What you need you to do is take your shoes out, take your shoelaces out. You just have to see the other side. This is the blood text. You're going to be drawing a little bit of blood from your arm, okay? Alright, I'm just going to take two tubes of blood from you, okay? Dad, I'm in jail. I got arrested. I don't know what happened. I was drinking and I meant to take my friends home and I hit somebody and killed three people. It's a matter of the people versus Victor Samara. I'll advise you of the charges now. Count one alleges an honor about April 18th, 2018. You did commit a felony to wit gross vehicular manslaughter while intoxicated in that you did kill Kaylee Bartolotto. Count two, in that you did kill Mateo Lungu. Count three alleges that on or about April 18, 2018, you did commit a felony, in that you did kill Gabriela Correa. It is further alleged in the commission of the above offense, you did personally inflict great bodily injury upon Destiny Ariola. You personally inflicted great bodily injury upon Scott Raggetts, causing Scott Raggetts to suffer paralysis. I find the defendant to be a substantial danger to the community, and for the protection of the public, I will set bail at $1 million. Thank you, Your Honor. If I had a scar on my face, I'd definitely think about avoiding just daily things, going to school. I don't think I'd really be able to participate in some of my favorite things, um, soccer, going to school. Um, I don't think I'd really go out of my house very often until I felt comfortable. But other than that, yeah, just don't think I could live my daily life with a scar on my face. Other than myself, I think my scar would affect my family. Um, I think they'd have to stay at home more with me. Um, considering I don't think I'd really want to go outside by myself and I'd just be really self-conscious. So I think my family would be a big part in that. I'll have more boundaries to overcome in anything that I enjoy, in my studies, in free time, leisurely activities, because I'm not going to stop being around the things that I love and doing the things that I love. I'm just going to have to do them differently. The way I do everything from wake up and brush my teeth, like roll out of bed and put on clothes, to the way that I get back into bed, you know, the less general things, like my family, how it affects the people around me. I don't want to hold people down, so that's why I'm going to have to overcome these things, but my life will be restrung in a way. It'll be reformed. It might affect my brother the most, because he's kind of been around me more than anyone else the past couple years, I want to say. But other than him, it would affect my dad the most because he's gotten me to the point that I am. I think it's gonna hit my close family really hard. They um, helped me so much and have pushed me a lot uh, to continue with theater and to continue with, you know, a lot of um, the things that they think that I'm strong in and that I think that I'm strong in. Um, and they really wanted to see me succeed, so I think it'll be really tough on them. You know, I'd, I'd like to think I missed out on a fun college life. Um, I definitely missed out on 
you know, a lot of the things that I wanted to do. Um, I missed out on becoming an actor, you know, really hitting the big stage um, with musical theater. You know, I um, didn't get to do a lot. I'll never see anything exciting. I'll never be able to go places in the world. I'll miss out on opportunities to meet new people, to go to college, uh, to be able to run in college. Um, my little sisters, I think this would have a really big impact on both of them. And I feel like if I was gone, I, I don't know what they would do. And especially with my parents not having me either, I think my whole family would just be a mess. Tell my dad I love him. He would be so crushed. Say sorry for always being mean to my mom because I give her attitude a lot. Hey mom, Scott and I are leaving Beach Hut right now. Be home in like five minutes. Bye, I love you. I missed out on graduating with my friends and my boyfriend. I missed out on um, going to college and just having a life in general. I missed out on pursuing my dream. And I missed out on being a mom, being a wife. Yeah, I missed out on a lot of things. <laughs> Dying at 17, so. I think my mom, yeah. She loves me a lot. I don't think I tell her I love her back enough, so I think that would hurt her a lot. I think I'd say, like, I'm sorry. And I love her. I love my mom, I love my dad, and my family. I think I just apologize for disappointing them and making the wrong decision.